continues, my country people, the controversial Kaduna-based Islamic cleric Sheikh Ahmed Gumi has shared a video on his official Facebook page of a Fulani man who claimed men in military vehicles and uniforms attacked their community and killed several of his king's men. Now, the cleric wrote, on the 3rd of December, 2022, some men in military vehicles and uniforms went to Ragen Waziru at Rafin Seki Fatika Gewa um, local government area. Now, on the video, one of the survivors named uh, Abdul Salam Koruna explains in the video that uh, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi posted on his Facebook handle. Now he's coming out to say that eh, this is a kind of news that the media will not carry. And armchair critics and enemies of peaceful resolution of conflicts will not circulate that this is just the tip of the iceberg of what happened. And this is happening that triggered the Hessman uh, revolt, saying anything short of a full investigation and relevant punishment for those involved in these extra judicial killings will not bring peace to this nation until the killing of innocent people becomes a taboo in this nation. We are yet to see the end of killings and revenge criminality. This is not rocket science. We sincerely pray that Allah bestows on this nation a leader who will address this problem sincerely without fear or favor. Leaders that will flush from a prestigious military undesirable element that saw its name. We call on all headsmen to bear the injustice melted out to them and not to take the law into their own hands or resort to vengeful crimes. Two wrongs never make a right. Usually, it is the innocent villagers who also suffer from these reactions. May Allah bring solace to all lost lives in the conflict and forgive his servants their iniquities. Hmm. This is coming from Sheikh Ahmed Gumi. He shared this on his uh, Facebook page. So, guys, what's your thoughts, you know, concerning this information that uh, Sheikh Gumi just passed? Because it seems that uh, this man is uh, really advocating for these headsmen. And he's calling them innocent. Seriously. I've never seen an innocent headsman before in my life. So why is Gumi coming out to justify the killings of uh, these headsmen and all? Why is he complaining? Don't as in is it that he doesn't see what is happening in the country? Is it that he he doesn't know what these headsmen are going around doing in this country? However, Nigerians have uh, have uh, reacted to this. Hmm. Okay, Gumi needs to be arrested long before now. Also, kindly on your verified Facebook page, share on how innocent Southern Kaduna people are being massacred on a daily basis. Gumi have all his life giving and supporting bandits. He has no fear of God. Bandits killing innocent Nigerians are seen as brothers to him. People like him are supposed to be behind bars under a sane society. Hmm. Gumi is among those that should be questioned about the happenings in Nigeria. Sheikh, have you forgotten that bandits and terrorists wore military uniform too? Many were discovered in Mamu's house too, your aides. Hmm. This man called Gumi, what's your problem in this Nigerian Fulani country? Lawless country. If not, Gumi would be in jail by now. When Fulani killed innocent people in farm, 
who used to hold them. Shay Gumi, please share the video of Fulani Hetzman who kidnapped, raped, and collected ransoms as well. If you you and Namdi or Adeyomi Mo, you would have been a tyrant paying no rent in DSS underground mansion. Hmm, this is absolutely rubbish. Headsmen also wear army uniforms. This is a case of IS Iswap versus Boko Aram. Now today, not be today now, this is just a terrorist talking. Really, there are Gumi people killing everyone here and there. Why is Gumi complaining? Why should a terrorist uh, spokesperson and their spiritual leaders playing on people's intelligence? Gumi, Gumi, how many times did I call you? Stop pretending, Mr. Comedian. Hmm, my people, these are reactions from Nigerians. You see, one thing about all these uh, self-acclaimed, uh, how will I put it, preachers of these are full and knee headsmen and all, and these terrorists. They will come outside, forming as if their people are not the ones killing uh, or, or other people. We all know what has been happening, that these full and knee headsmen have been going around wasting innocent lives and all. So he will not sp speak about that wannabe. And now he's saying that uh, mil many military uniforms are going around killing, uh, killing their people and all. So is it that he's not aware that uh, these uh, Fulani headsmen even put on military uniforms? Is it that he is not aware or is he just trying to play on Nigerians' uh, intelligence? This is just a, a, a show of hypocrisy. I mean, who is he trying to fool? Coming out here, acting innocent that uh, men in military uniform are killing uh, the Fulanese, saying that uh, he don't want them to retaliate and all and all. Well, God is watching everything that they are doing. Almighty God is seeing them, and one day they will be exposed all their evil plans will be exposed. He comes out here saying that uh, this one, that one. Me, personally, me, personally, I don't support a killing of anybody. Be you Hausa, be you Igbo, be you Yoruba or Fulani or whatsoever. I don't support any uh, extrajudicial killings. But when he's coming out saying that uh, uh, military men are killing, he should find out those people behind the military uniform and not come out acting so innocent as see these Fulani headsmen are, are innocent people. They are not innocent. Instead, they are the one going around killing innocent people. So he should, you know, mind his words and shun his people and speak about the killings of innocent people that these Fulani headsmen have been uh, perpetrating and not come and be, uh, how would I put it, sweet talking I, I, I don't even know how to how to place it so guys mm -hmm.